So Ulster Wildlife is running a year-long campaign to let nature in. One in four species in Northern Ireland and across the UK are under threat and without the help of individuals and organisations like Alpha Housing, biodiversity is going to be in serious decline. But individuals and organisations can make a difference and improving their land and their land holdings for biodiversity is a first step on that journey. Tackling the environmental crisis will be the defining issue of our time. Here at Montgomery in Bangor, Victor Allister and other tenants have got together to form a wildlife group and they've been doing a range of activities, including NOMO areas, they've been placing habitat boxes around the site, and they've also been planting wildflower seed. We've been inspired by the work of the group, and that's why Alpha as a whole is now embracing Ulster Wildlife's Let Nature In campaign and the NOMO May initiative from Plant Life. We believe that across our 40 sites in Northern Ireland, we can play a small but important part in helping nature to fight back. There's a growing realisation uh, amongst uh, wildlife experts that we need to be bringing um, urban and suburban gardens more into as habitats. We, we've got millions of gardens around the UK and if we can only get even like 10% of those to do some of the things that we've been doing, allowing grass to grow, putting in pollinator friendly plants, putting up bat boxes, bird boxes, feeders, that could make a huge difference. I think there's a perception that uh, amenity horticulture uh, is, is basically you just go in, you cut everything down to the quick, you spray about a weed killer around. But that thankfully is changing. Um, there are other methods of controlling plants that you don't want to be in a particular area, but there is no reason not to have a few perennial wildflowers in a corner and have that managed but you could still have your, your nice looking lawn. So you can already see on the site here at Alpha, they've done some amazing stuff here. Leaving your gardens to go wild is a fantastic way of encouraging pollinators. So it's a fantastic opportunity for individuals and groups to get involved.